What's going on guys, Matt over here with Lethal Camaro and today I'm going to do an unboxing video on a curb alert system. Now, what's a curb alert system? Why would I want something like that? So, there's a couple options that you can do if you guys are familiar with the Corvette. They have some front facing cameras on their car that allow you to see curbs and bumps and whatever in front of you. Which saves your front splitter and your bumper, which sounds great, right? Well, GM hasn't offered anything like that for the Camaro yet. And so we're either stuck with trying to hardcore swap out our radio and work with great companies like Gen 5 DIY, who's offering a system where you can connect a camera, you reset the radio, and then it's, it's not a cheap option, but you can get a front-facing camera and see exactly where you're parking and what's in front of you. Or you can go down the road like I did and pick up a brand motion front fender sensor. Now, this product here um, is not super cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than going the other route, uh, trying to get a camera. It's about 175 bucks retail. Uh, I picked it up at a Father's Day special um, at the link below, it's down in the description. I think I saved 20% off that price. So it was a nice substantial discount thanks to Father's Day. But this kit is basically a beep sound. So you actually, well, let's open it up and check it out and we'll, we'll kind of describe what the product is. So it's got a nice sticker from May 23rd, 2017. So it's not an old product. Uh, this 3M adhesion promoter, it's very popular. So this kit is actually for a Corvette, but it will work for a Camaro. Uh, I am gonna have to get crafty um, with how I mount it. But again, this is the curb alert parking sensor for a Corvette C5, C6, um, but we can make it work for a Camaro. Now, items included in the kit, uh, comes with the main module, buzzer speaker, front IR sensor, 3M clear pad, zip ties, Allen wrench. There's an Allen wrench in there, huh? Four different mounts for IR sensor, two ringlets and nuts. Inlet and fuse holder, add a circuit fuse link. Six. So I probably will have to get a different circuit fuse link um, than what's in the box because we use the Micro Mini 2s and not, yeah. So this one comes with a much it's a different fuse setup, but I can still use this fuse and just get the right connector. I actually have quite a few of them because I ordered them for my black fuse setup. So you can see another hardwire fuse here and uh, some nuts and bolts and engine power accessories. So it's pretty straightforward. They do come with a couple different mounting options. There's a left mount, right mount, low mount, tall mount, high mount, um, lots of zip ties, lots of things. But you have the main power, so there is lots of cabling, so you can stretch it to wherever you want. So I'm gonna install this to where um, the speaker sits underneath the steering wheel, so it's out of sight, out of mind. Um, we'll get the IR sensor, we'll mount inside either the grill or I'll mount it underneath. I'm not entirely sure where I'm gonna mount this. I might be able to put it, so if you guys know I have a chin splitter on my car, I'm, my initial thought is I can run it in between and have it sit on the chin splitter. The only thing is, is I don't know like what angle this has to be or how clear it needs to be. So it does have like a little bump thing so it can scrape if I want to put it on the underside, but we'll see, I'll figure that out during the install. Um, but it's pretty straightforward. I mean, again, the only modification I have to make is I do need to get the Micro 2 um, low profile uh, fuse adapter, um, which again, is super easy to get. They cost like two or three bucks, but Again, the whole purpose of this product is a curb alert system. So this will beep at me when I get close to objects. Uh, and I believe you can custom set it. Actually, let's go through. Sorry, I'm trying to record this and read this all at the same time. So safety precautions, I don't care. Don't we strive to provide accurate update installation? I don't care. Curb alert sensing calibration. Let's see here. So step one, determine the best mounting location. Step two, clean the sensor. Step three, at this point, you can connect all curb alert components, route the sensor cables, mount the control box, mount the buzzer in a convenient location. I see the calibration. The sensor calibration should be completed while the vehicle's not running. 
with vehicle wired to a circuit that senses alternator voltage such as battery and ignition switch circuit fuse blocks. So, so basically it needs a an accessory power. Uh, the buzzer should chirp four times to notify you that your sensor has been activated. Okay, the wiring modules, blah, 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 blah. After running the curb alert sensor, your vehicle is described. Measure the ground clearance from the lowest part of your fascia to determine what curb height you want detected. If your lowest ground clearance point is five inches, please adjust your curb height alert to three to four. So it looks like it does have different settings. So you can actually set it to no height and distance. So yeah, so we'll get into that when we install the product. You can kind of see here where people put the sensors. This is almost illustrative purposes. Where do they have it? It's kind of hard to see. Optional add-on LED part. Oh, they have like a little LED module below the uh, start on the old Corvettes which this doesn't have. So, and you can actually see the bump, the front bumper zoomed in here. So you can see it mounted underneath the front grill. That's the IR sensor. I'm gonna put mine a little bit lower. So we'll see if we can get away with that. But there you go. So this is a product I've been really interested in. I mean, in pulling in spots, it, it's impossible to see over your hood. Like I could see over my hood, but I don't exactly know you know, you, you lose sight of the range, especially with my chin splitter, it makes the front end of my car stick out, what, an extra two inches. So I just like to be sure and safe and I don't want to crunch the front end of my car. So I'm going to check this out. Again, I saved 20% on it. It was 175, but saving 20, 20 ish percent. I want to say that's like what, 20 some odd bucks off the price. So that's cool. Um, but overall, not terribly expensive, not as expensive as most of the upgrades we do for our car. And the fact that it can save us or save our like $500 carbon fiber or splitters and whatever, um, I think it's something well worth it and something to check out. So we'll see how clean I can run it. I'm gonna run the wires through the sound tube through my firewall because I removed my sound tube. And I'm also gonna reroute all my wires from my Blackview camera as well. Um, so that looks a lot cleaner as well. So that all being said, that is a curb alert system. It is from Brand Motion. Again, I bought it from a like third party website. Again, I'll put the link right down below in the description. So if this is something you're interested in checking out, the link is there. Um, but outside of that, stay tuned for a full install guide on this product. I know I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. And if it works really well, I'm gonna be really excited. If it works terrible, I'm gonna tell you all about it. So again, and I just want to highlight again, this is a Corvette setup, so I will be modifying it to work with the Camaro. So you will need the low profile mini two uh, fuse adapter. I'll put links for that down below too, if you're interested in just picking up this product and trying it out on your own without my videos or help. Um, but yeah, it's all good. So thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, post down below in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button, support the channel. Uh, if not, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. Check out Lethal Swag down below in the description as well. And if I don't see you in the next video, I do hope to see you on the road.